Number 61, Bronson Arroyo. Welcome to Portland. Woo! Red Sox pitcher Bronson Arroyo has recorded his version of songs from the early 90s. He was promoting his first album titled Covering the Bases on Portland's Q97.9. The CD is a collection of songs Arroyo listened to while in high school, including Pearl Jam's Black. The right-hander says it's tough, though, juggling performing and pitching for the defending World Series champion. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Bronson Arroyo. The media in Boston can be critical sometimes. And, you know, I had to pitch against the Yankees after playing a two-hour show at the Avalon. So, um, you know, you hope you have a good one before you come do some of this stuff, but it just doesn't always work out. Arroyo is showcasing his musical talent on the road, performing free concerts. Five thousand excited fans packed Portland's Monument Square, some showing their admiration from afar, to hear Arroyo play an acoustic set from his album. He's a pretty good singer. I didn't know he could sing that good. Um, I expected him to be a little bit more rock, though. A lot of people thought that um, you know, maybe he should concentrate on his pitching a little bit more, but uh, he did an awesome job last night, and he's got the day off today, so more power to him. Hopefully he'll sell a lot of CDs. Now, Arroyo's aspirations are pretty modest. He's not expecting to sell out stadiums, a public park, or a bar. It's just fine with him. In fact, he says he's more comfortable pitching to A-Rod than performing in front of a live audience. Singing really is no problem if you got somebody playing for you, but uh, most of the time I'm playing by myself, so it's... Uh, it's more nerve-wracking than pitching. But Arroyo's fans are much more forgiving. His hand works for pitching and playing guitar. Hopefully he has a long career at his music and the Red Sox. After the concert, Arroyo's CDs sold like hotcakes, but it's still too early to tell if it will be a hit. But Arroyo's still scoring points with both music and sports fans alike. Uh, five and a half games up on the Yankees. In Portland, Vivian Lee, News Center.